Hello and welcome to the Breakfast Wrap on day four of the Betfred World Snooker Championship. I'm Fred, a bank holiday is over, it's back to work. But it was an easy day's work for Mark Williams yesterday. He beat Welshman Michael White 10-3. He plays another Welshman, but this time it's a close friend. In fact, he says he's like a member of the family. It's Jackson Page. I'm looking forward to it. It was going to be different, you know. Like I said earlier, this... Um, it's not really a friend, he's more like uh, having my fourth son, you know, because we spend a lot of time together. He's at my house, you know, cards, whatever, bingo, golf, badminton, we've done everything, temping, bowling, you name it, you know. Uh, so it's going to be difficult and uh, I don't like losing, I don't want to lose to anybody, but if I am going to lose and I do get beat, and I could pick who to beat me, it would be him, no question. So it's like playing a member of the family? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And who wins at temping, bowling, badminton and cards? Um, well, I, I got him at the golf. I got him more than often at the golf. The rest is pretty even. Or cards. He beats me cards. He's just a lucky get. Just unbelievable cards, he gets. That should be an absolute cracking match. But, of course, Mark Williams is part of the famed class of 1992. Ronnie O'Sullivan threw. Mark Williams threw. And to finish that trio, we're going to see John Higgins today. John is also playing as good as ever. He's reached five finals this year, and he's putting that down to his new fitness regime. It was here last year that I thought to myself, I need to do something. I was, I was struggling with the pressure, how small it is, small on arena. And I, and I was, I'm a wee small guy, I'm only 5'7", five, 5'8", five, five, so when I'm putting the weight on it, it doesn't look good. So. I decided, yeah, I had to do something. So, yeah, I've, I've lost a bit of weight and it's it's helped me this year, I think, in my game. How have you lost the weight? Just doing spin classes. Aye, just, just doing that. Uh, tough, tough to do, but uh, I've just I got into a wee bit of... Well, I'm putting a little bit of the weight back on, but I think I was just... I was I was mental on it. I was going, like, four or five times a week and I was watching everything what I was eating, but put a bit back on, but... That's just what happens. So the four-time world champion John Higgins starts his campaign today. And back home in Glasgow, he practices with Anthony McGill. He booked his place in the second round with a 10-7 victory over Liam Highfield. But the final frame clearance started with a fluke. That's what nobody needs to tell me about getting beyond a fluke. <laughs> At the Crucible. You should thank him, so I'm lucky it wasn't the semi final. No, 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 huge slice of luck. And, uh, <laughs> no, I needed it to, well, maybe I needed it because if I went 9 8, I'm going to pull us off and all that. And he, he was definitely a better player today, no doubt about it, so kind of got lucky. And Mark Allen booked his place in the second round. He will play Ronnie O'Sullivan in the second round. And the Northern Irishman knocked out the Rocket in the last 16 in 2009. It's what we play the game for. Now you want to play the best on the biggest stages, and I'm no different. No, Ronnie's just another opponent to me. Uh, you have to go out there and play very well, but you could say that about a number of people in round two. So uh, I think the only time we've ever played at Sheffield was in the second round, and I beat him. So I have to try and keep those sort of memories going forward. But look, I appreciate how tough the task is. But I think Ronnie's been coming here 30 years, maybe. And he's won six, so that means he's lost 24. So I just want to be one of those. Uh, it's just a game of snicker. I go out there and play well and control myself. Who knows? I don't know if you've seen any of his uh, match or the way he's been looking, but he seems very relaxed this year. Does that make him more dangerous, do you think? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, a day in the life of Ronnie I'm still loving. I'm not sure I'd want to be in it. Uh, look, Ronnie's Ronnie. Uh, he'll always bring a lot of off-table stuff with him. But that's part and parcel of what he brings to the sport and how big a draw he has become. Uh, it's not just a genius on the table. Some of the stuff he does off the table gets people talking. So I think he's probably the only one in our game that can create the column inches off the table like Ronnie does. But he looks in a good place so far. But we all know that it can turn very quickly with Ronnie. So it's up to me to go out there on Friday, Saturday and try my best to play well and get under his skin a little bit. And, See if that changes. So behind me is the TV compound. These are the boys and girls that work so hard to bring the pictures to you around the world. Are you ready for today's stats of the day? By winning his first round match, Ronnie O'Sullivan took his crucible earnings to over three million pounds. 
and that is a record. Will Ronnie O'Sullivan match Stephen Hendry's record and win seven Betfred World Snooker Champions? Today, we have got Neil Robertson and Ashley Ugill to a finish. We're also going to see the 2015 champion Stuart Bingham, his match finishes. And I'm really looking forward to this, the start of John Higgins versus Tepjai on new. It's only day four of the Betfred World Snooker Championship and it's already absolutely superb. Enjoy the action.